This project is sponsored by Leica, and here I'm using the Leica laser level to get a perfectly level line all the way around the room. I've measured up to 39 and a quarter inches and then raised the laser to that line. Next, I'll hold a straight edge at the laser and trace a reference line all the way around the room. The top of this chair I'll design has two parts, a bottom and a top. Now I'm lining up the top of the bottom piece with the line and working my way around the room. I've made most of the molding for this project out of MDF, so my longest molding length is 8 feet. For molding runs that are longer than 8 feet, I'm using a 45 degree angle lap joint. Once I've finished with the chair rail, I started working with the molding just underneath the chair rail and just on top of the baseboard. This is considered the rail. This is the molding that will help to make the flat panel. This piece of molding is an inch and a quarter by half of an inch. And as far as the, um, the piece on the bottom here, I'm just building off the existing baseboard. Once I finish attaching the rail underneath the chair rail and on top of the baseboard, then I'll start working on the styles which are the vertical pieces of molding that will complete the flat panel. All right, well, it's not perfect, but it's pretty close, and I'll be able to clean that up with a little bit of caulk. This is probably the most time-consuming part of a project like this, and basically when you're trimming something out, you have to compromise, and, and it really comes down to trying to make the best decision for that compromise. So in this case, I had to make the style an inch wider than the rest of the styles to accommodate this step. I'm trying to keep that one and a half inch style throughout the room. So on the outside corner, I'm attaching an inch and a half style to one that I've ripped at an inch, and that inch and that half inch creates the inch and a half. I'm building the corner before I attach it to the wall.
When it comes to deciding how wide to make the flat panels, I generally will just do what looks good or I'll ask my wife. That's always a safe bet. And also I'll do what the wall sort of predicts. So the, in this case, I had to deal with this receptacle on the wall and this phone jack. And it turns out that if I split it, I have just enough room for the molding and the face plate. For the trim inside the panels, I'm using 3 8 quarter round. Okay, well, that was the last piece of molding on that project, uh, but there's still a lot of work to do. I have a lot of painting to do, but once I finish everything, once I finish all of the painting and put the furniture back in the room, put the art on the walls, I'll do a tour of the room and maybe point out uh, some of the projects that I have videos on, some of the furniture projects, maybe even some of the art projects. If you have any questions on the chair rail or even the window and door casing. I had planned to do a, a Q&A on the window and door casing, but I just never got around to it. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll do a Q&A video, I think probably on Monday. Uh, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you soon.